Oh my God, I think I'm live. Hello, it's 6 p.m. I think I'm live. Yeah. Oh my God, say, say hello if you can hear me and see me okay, because I have no idea what you're seeing on the other side. But yeah, hello, welcome to my first ever YouTube live stream. Um, not feeling nervous at all. It's going to be fine. So yeah, I'm in the Farfetch studio today. I'm going to be talking through some of the lovely things that are on the rail behind me that I hand selected from some of my favorite brands um, for roughly, I guess, like the next 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I'm just going to kind of like let people trickle in. Um, I don't, I'm going to, I don't have like too much time to play with. I'm kind of restricted, so I can't wait too long, but I'll do a bit of an intro. And then by the time I get to the fun stuff, hopefully everyone will have sort of like trickled in. Um, so yeah, first ever YouTube live in collaboration with Farfetch. Those of you that watch my videos quite regularly will know that I do often work with Farfetch. So you've probably heard me talk about Farfetch loads and probably know what Farfetch is. But just in case you don't know Farfetch and you haven't shopped on Farfetch, I'll welcome you to the world of Farfetch because there's a lot going on. So it's basically a platform that kind of acts as a shop front for hundreds of boutiques around the world. So when you shop through Farfetch, you are kind of shopping a boutique that could be anywhere else in the world, um, which is great because it means you're supporting like small businesses. Um, and it means you have access to so many different boutiques around the world and so many different items. And as a result, this is the reason why I love Farfetch so much is not only am I supporting a small business, but you kind of like, it's really easy to find like those hard to find pieces through Farfetch. Like often when I can't find something that maybe I've missed out on sale or like it's just been really popular and it's sold out everywhere. Often I can just go straight over to Farfetch and I'll find it because you've got all these boutiques to shop from. And because you've got all these boutiques to shop from, you've also got so many different brands to shop from as well. So you've obviously got all your kind of like popular brands that we know of, but there's also a great selection of indie brands as well to shop from. So it's a great way to discover new brands. Um, I can see like comments coming in through the side here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, there's people from so many different places. This is wild. Hello. Right. Um, what else can I say about Farfetch that you might not know? Um, so Farfetch also have menswear. They have a little bit of homeware. They introduced beauty last year, which is really exciting. Similar to like their kind of women's wear and menswear selection. It's a really good curation of like those big names that we know of, but also some really good emerging smaller beauty brands as well. And they also have a pre-loved section, um, which is a whole like treasure trove that you can really have a dig around and spend hours having a look through there. Some of you might remember, I think it was a few weeks ago, I did a styling video and found um, a really nice Armani jacket. It's like a little cropped number wool silk blend. It's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to the Farfetch universe. Um, so I'm going to kind of get stuck into what I have behind me here. So the theme of the live is kind of like my summer essentials. I've gone through some of my favorite brands and picked out some pieces that I think are essential for the summer. Um, I'm going to get started with this bag first because I think many of you will know how much I love La Mer and I love this bag so much. And I have to say, I've never seen it in real life. So it's quite like, you know, a surreal moment to be seeing this in real life. Um, so it's 100% leather and it retails roughly at around 960 pounds. This is the, I believe this is the bigger size. It comes in like two different sizes. So there's one down from this and this is the larger size. And it's the larger size that I've never seen before. So it's quite nice to see it on my frame. And I think there's something so like just fresh about a white handbag for spring and summer. Like if you're like me and you just have so many black handbags, just changing to a white handbag can completely just like make things just feel so much fresher without even having to do anything too drastic. Um, if I get up close, you can kind of see that it's very nice, got very nice grain to it. Um, so I feel like it'd be quite hard wearing and quite easy to clean. Um, it's got the, the classic knot detail that the croissant has. It is massive inside. I'll just show you the inside very quickly. You could fit loads in it. 
Love it. I do have the green version um, in the smaller size. I can't wait to bring that out for summer, but I'm now contemplating whether I need the big white one as well. Um, so love, love, love that. Um, guys, I just completely forgot to tell you about the discount code. <laughs> that was the thing I needed to say at the beginning. So some of you have already seen and some of you actually already use it. There is a discount code that will get you 10% off um, at the checkout and it's valid until the 27th of June, is that right? For new and existing customers. And the code is Brittany10FF. It should be in the description box somewhere in this live, somewhere. But just so you know, it is Brittany10FF. I'm just gonna see if there's any um, questions. Hello from New York, that's mad, wow. Oh, someone says they have the same, oh, I spy the croissant, see? I shopped on Farfetch because of you, yay. If you have any questions at all, by the way, just ask away and I'll keep checking and try and answer people's questions. Um, anything. Right, what should I go for next? Do you know what, these stripy trousers I feel like deserve a bit of a show off. Um, I'm quite into like anything sort of very like silky and flowy for spring and summer. I think I just wanna be as comfortable as possible and, but still kind of feel a bit put together. And I think a silky trouser is the way to do that. Cause it, it's kind of like a hybrid between pajamas and fancy, isn't it? Um, these are from Totem. Bear with me, I have an iPad that I can um, consult for information. So these are 100% organic cotton and they come with a matching top, which would just be the ultimate in like comfort dressing, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, like a really nice nod to that sort of like pajama dressing, but it's a bit of a um, slightly different take on a stripe, isn't it? It's not that sort of like even stripe, if you know what I mean, it's sort of, slightly uneven drawstring waist which we love to see pockets again we love to see i think this will look really nice even just like with like a white t-shirt that i'm wearing now and would look very nice with these also totem sandals which have the most beautiful like kind of like not detail I don't know if you can see that they are um a canvas material with a leather trim on the edge of the canvas there and check that nice little velcro strap like yeah these white tee cream sandal like such a good like everyday summer look um a lot of you will know that i've kind of got a little bit of a an obsession with blue i do wear a lot of basically my wardrobe consists of black white gray navy and a bit of beige but i'm trying to introduce like slightly bolder colors and i feel like blue is a really good one along with green that still kind of feel in keeping with my sort of palette um but just feel like i'm brightening things up for spring and summer oh can you show us a good summer wedding dress option i certainly can someone said oh my god are we crashing the site is everything okay? <laughs> Someone is just, I just want to make sure that everyone is, can like see and hear me all right. Um, wedding dress option. So I picked out a black dress. Now I know some people don't like to wear black to a wedding, um, but I I recently wore quite a nice black dress to a wedding and it, you know, it, it's fine. Like this one is from Tove, which is a British brand. I'm gonna consult the iPad again, just to get some deets, but I'm pretty sure this is, um, I'm pretty sure this is 100% cotton. Just bear with me. One moment. Yep, yeah, so this is 100% organic cotton and it's around 400 pounds. And this is part of Farfetch's um, conscious range. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because it's black. Hopefully you can. So it has a sort of like cap sleeve and then this bow detail, which you can like wrap round. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you this at all. Oh, that's better. So can you see that it ties there and then you can, you could either do like a big bow on the front or you could wrap it round several times and then knot it. And it's got a really full skirt at the bottom. Um, but I think it works for a summer wedding because it's 100% organic cotton. So it's quite breathable. Um, but it's still kind of, I think because of the, it's like kind of like cotton poplin, it still has a really nice crisp look to it, which helps it hold its, holds its structure um, and its shape. I wish you could come, somehow like touch it because it feels so nice. Oh my God, so many good questions. Going to the beach in Spain, what the heck do I need to pack? Hello, hello, hello. What a great idea to have a live stream. Will you try anything? Unfortunately, I won't be trying anything on um, just because logistically it, it would have been a bit of a nightmare, me like popping off screen, putting things on. So I'll do my best to just like try and show you things as much as I can. Right, um, moving on to... Do you know what? I'm going to talk about this next scarf. If you watch my YouTube videos regularly, you will know I've become slightly hyper obsessed with neckerchiefs, um, specifically one very similar to this. I have a black and white one from Totem at home, which I just wear all the time. I cannot stress enough how like handy a neck scarf is because of its multiple uses. So obviously you can wear a neck scarf around your neck several different ways. My favorite way to do it is like, I'll do this, and then I'll just kind of like tie it and do quite like a tight styling like that. Another way I like to do it is more of a, kind of like bunch up like that loose. And then I feel like that's quite the, you know, quite classic way to do it. Also, I like to use it as a headband, especially in the summer. So I'm just gonna use my knee <laughs> to do this. So then fold, so fold it up like this, and then literally would just tie it round like that. You can also do it like the sort of classic, um, oh, I've really messed that. <laughs> sort of like the classic bandana way, like that. Um, can also be worn as a belt, which I have done with, um, with like denim in the past. And another thing that I like to do with it, which I can't really demonstrate right now, but if you've got a handbag with, um, you know, like a short structured handle, you can do that thing where you like twist it around the handle and then it sort of looks like a nice sort of accessory on your bag. Or you can just tie it, you know, like in a knot around your handbag. Um, but I just can't stress enough how like just versatile a neck scarf is. I know it's not revolutionary. Loads of you have probably got a neck scarf already and like, oh, wow, she's just discovered a neck scarf. But it is a very good accessory, both winter and summer, actually. This one is from Totem. And this one is 100% silk. It's kind of like cream with an olive, I'd say like an olive green stripe through it, which is quite nice, I think, for this time of year. The one I have is black and white, and I feel like I now need this one as well. I'm trying to justify a different color because it's summer. Um, Can we have a next scarf tutorial? <laughs> I um I do need I really need to film one. Maybe film a lookbook with suggestions from this live stream. That's a very good idea. Oh yeah, Sasha. I, that, and that was a kind of half tutorial. I feel like I need to do an actual proper legitimate tutorial because there's so many different ways I tie it. Um, let me just double check. 
the price on this one. But I know Totem do about 20 different colors and patterns. And I think they do like three different sizes in their neck scarves. So this one's around 170. Um, I think this is the, like they do a small one, like a really small one. Then they do this size one, which is kind of like in the middle. And then they do a really, really big one, um, which I personally have and find very versatile. Um, I feel like someone's asked to see the jeans. So I'll move on to the jeans next. Although the jeans are also totem. I feel like everything I've spoken about is totem. There are other brands, I promise. So I wanted to include a pair of blue jeans within my kind of edit of things. Because although blue jeans aren't exactly revolutionary, as someone who doesn't really wear much colour, the addition to a pair, the addition of a pair of blue denim into my wardrobe has felt like such um, just like a really like fresh addition that I didn't know I needed because I wear I wear like dark grey jeans all the time. I wear white jeans quite a lot often as well, actually, and I wear black jeans quite a bit. And I've always just thought a blue jean isn't really for me but I think it's about the fit and the wash and I've just never had the right fit or wash in terms of blue I've I've perfected my black my gray and my white these ones are from Totem and they have got a sort of twist leg detail on them which creates sort of like barrel leg but not like hugely barreled it just makes them curve out ever so slightly and then because you've got this twisted seam, they just hang really nicely at the bottom. And the wash is like not too much fading. You've just got a little bit there on the front as you naturally would with a pair of blue denim as you wear them in. There's no distressing on them or anything like that, you know, like no holes or anything. It's just a very classic vintage looking wash um, with a little bit of whispering there. I just think like now that I've introduced blue denim into my wardrobe, I'm just like, where have you been all my life? Um, I'll just double check. <laughs> so I need a scarf. Yes, guys. Yes. Um, these are, let me just double check. These ones are around 250 pounds. They're a mid-weight and they're non-stretch. So they are quite, um, they're quite like a thick denim, if you know what I mean. They don't feel, they feel very robust. And they are, they're kind of designed to sit, you can see like, on, like they're designed to sit here and then sort of fitted through here and then loose through the bottom. Um, so yes. Love, 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 love blue jeans, and they are a classic for a reason. What else shall I move on to? Um, let's talk a few more silky pieces. Some of you might remember um, a couple of videos ago, I was going on about how just nice cream silk trousers were. Um, so I've picked out these trousers from Asino. Um, which is another British brand that I am obsessed with. Asino are particularly good with linen and with silk. I think that's where they, re that's their strong point. Their silks and their linens are so, so good. Um, and these are uh, kind of like, I'd say they're kind of gold. The light isn't really picking it up. They're a bit more warm toned in real life with a little bit of a sheen, elasticated waist again, pockets I mean do I even want a pair of trousers unless it has an elasticated waist and pockets at this point um but again th with everything I kind of try and pick out it's all about versatility and comfort and being able to dress up dress down you know all that kind of stuff and I think the silk trouser really is the epitome of that um these would look particularly nice I think with um a black tank top or maybe just like a fitted black t-shirt or maybe like a really nice loose sheer black shirt um, to really up the ante, actually, though, in the evening, I think what would be quite nice is 
Because I'm not really like a short, short dress kind of person. I like the idea of layering over like mini dresses with trousers. So this is a Reformation dress in a sort of like olive green color, but it's quite short. So I would layer another silk item underneath this dress. And I think that would, how nice are those two colors together actually? That's the first time I've actually put them together and now I'm like, ooh, very nice. But that, that, that trousers laying under this dress with like hair tied back, big bold earring and a pair of like flat strappy sandals. That would be such a nice evening look in the summer or equally could put on a small heel. Um, and it would even, it would kind of like make it feel a bit more dressier. Um, let me just double check what the ref top is. Sorry, dress, not top. <laughs> so both pieces are 100% silk. Love silk on silk, yes. Do you have any tips on incorporating color into your wardrobe for summer? My wardrobe resembles a black hole. <laughs> oh, I feel you, I feel you. I think just like, cause winter's so long in the UK, it just feels like you get to sort of like March and like my wardrobe is just a pit of black. Um, I think tips for incorporating color, like if you're not someone who in, like incorporates color a lot, then just do it gradually. Like. I have found that with my palette, blue is such a good color to incorporate and it's a really easy one. Um, there's so many different like shades of blue out there and it's quite, um, it's quite a classic color, I think. And that's something I've only just started to realize over the last few years as I kind of incorporate color into my wardrobe is that color doesn't have to feel like it can feel quite classic, you know, it can still feel timeless within the other things within your wardrobe. Um, and you'll be surprised at how well like a bold color can go with like a, a black or against a, a minimal palette. I actually think that's, I love incorporating color in that way as a pop. Um, Cause I think in during summer, like all of a sudden you get all of these colors, you get all of these prints and it's just like, oh my God, like, I don't know how to wear any of this. So I'd say just, just a pop that's all you need to just slowly incorporate color it could be just it doesn't even necessarily have to be like clothes it could just be like a headband it could be like a bag it could be a piece of jewelry um i think like a, a neck scarf as well that'd be a good way to incorporate a bit of color um but my lesson a lesson i've also learned is just don't be afraid of it like i was afraid of color for so long and then over the last few years, I've been like, what was I afraid of this whole time? Because I can wear color, I can still feel like me. It's just about finding the colors that feel like me. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Oh my God, Brittany, we love you. I pitch screaming. <laughs> Do you think some of your key pieces and looks would also be wearable for the 50 plus generation? Um, a subjective question, I think, because it kind of depends on your style as a 50 plus person. I think a lot of what I wear is quite, um, I guess, modest. I'm not someone who shows a lot of skin. And I think through because of that, I've managed to sort of gain a very varied audience in age. I, I, I'm really surprised at the amount of women who get in touch who are like 40 plus. And I think it's because a lot of what I do kind of can work across all ages. Um, so yeah, hundred percent. I think my styling can easily work for someone 50 plus, definitely. Love the comfort and the bold earrings or a plus. Uh, lo love a bold earring in the summer. Right, um, I'll come back to questions. I feel like I need to chat about more clothes because there's still more to discuss. Bear with me, I'm just gonna have a drink. Your style is absolutely ageless. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice bit of feedback. 
Okay, I'm going to talk about a skirt now because I, I just feel like I can't really talk about summer essentials without talking about the tailored maxi skirt because I do think this is something that we are seeing everywhere. We're kind of seeing the return of those sort of like very, I guess, like 90s style long pencil skirts. Um, so I have included one here. This one is from um, Christopher Esber, an Australian brand. Lots of you know that I am a big, big fan of many Aussie brands and Australia itself. Um, but I doubt there's going to be anyone from Australia in this chat. Unless you are wide awake, perhaps. Um, so yeah, this one's from Christopher Esber. And this one, I believe, is a wool silk blend. Let me just double check. Yep, silk and wool blend, high-waisted with belt loops um, and designed for that sort of like very sort of slim through the hips and then straight through the rest of the legs type of fit. But yeah, seeing this everywhere at the moment um, and styled in quite a, like a variation of ways. I personally like the more tailored look, um, especially when it's got belt loops because I think then you can play around with the kind of like height that you wear your skirt at because I've seen them styled quite low waisted and like pulled at the bottom and they do look lovely but then equally look really nice styled really high with like a sort of tank top or maybe like a fitted t-shirt or also maybe with a fitted shirt actually um like just a really nice button up um but I think with this type of style it's quite I think the key is just to have it like a little bit loose especially in the summer you want to keep this quite loose don't you you don't want to be like restricted I mean I certainly don't like to feel restricted around this this area in the summer um so yeah I think a tailored a tailored skirt a tailored pencil skirt is definitely one to try this summer I am just being reminded of the code <laughs> don't forget the um the code to get 10% off is Brittany 10 ff for um, new and existing customers. And it is valid until the 27th of June. So you've got, it's June, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I meant that. Yeah. Wait, it's July. Um, so you've got plenty of time to use it. Love the tailored maxi skirt. I got one from Australian brand called Dish. Love this one. Yeah, yeah. I've seen like some really nice linen ones as well. I feel like it's going to be one of those um items that you kind of gonna want in like so many different fabrics i've got a white denim one as well and i'm now like do i need a linen one can you discuss summer footwear both casual and for the office um what footwear pieces have i selected so i selected those totem sandals um i do also have a bit of a marmite shoe that i think a lot of you love but equally it is one that I know a lot of people are a bit on the fence about the Margiela tabby that's really having quite a moment isn't it um I like it though I like that especially because I think when I wear say if I'm just wearing like a white t-shirt and maybe like a pair of tailored trousers or just jeans like in this instance and I want to kind of just add something that just takes it to the next level I feel like the tabby is that because you're kind of, you've kind of got this look of like oh there's just like your white t-shirt your trousers and then it's like oh you've got tabby so it just kind of adds a little something something to an outfit that um might feel a little bit too simple if you know what I mean like sometimes I'll I do like the bare bones of an outfit or I kind of have the foundations of an outfit and I'm like right what can I do to like kind of take this to the next level. And often I have just simply added a tabby. Um, and do think this would be quite a good one in the office um, if you're prepared for questions, <laughs> looks from colleagues. Um, this one's the brown leather. I've got the black leather at home, um, but the brown is just so nice. Really like buttery from the get-go as well. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't select many shoes, just a sandal and a ballet flat, because I feel like they are sort of like the two shoes that I see myself wearing quite a lot this summer. So, Tem, Margiela. Um, I feel like I can't not talk about summer essentials without talking about some sort of like shacket, because 
I am in the UK after all, so the weather's very sporadic, so you never know when you're going to need that additional layer. Um, and it's about finding that right layer, you know, like that light layer that's just going to take away the chill. Um, and this one's from Totem. It's like a sort of cargo jacket, but it has, you might be able to see it a bit better from the back, actually. It's kind of pinched in at the waist. Um, I guess I could try this on, actually. It's, um, it's a 36, so it might be a little bit big for me, but it, I can probably just try and highlight that. You see, it just kind of like goes in a bit. So maybe if I had the next size down, it would just pinch in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, this is a very cool jacket. It's got big pockets on the front. Um, sort of like, I would say it is throwing a bit more green on the camera than it is in real life. It has, I think it's more brown toned in real life. Um, so it's very neutral, very easy one to incorporate into an already quite minimal wardrobe. I'm just going to double check the price of this one. So this one's around 480 and it is 100% organic cotton. Um, so it's nice and lightweight, quite breathable. I feel like I can't forget this either. This top is so beautiful. Um, I feel like jeans, jeans and a nice top is always going to be a classic, isn't it? And this is the epitome of a nice top. So this is from Tove, and this is actually kind of like you know this dress that I showed you, this is essentially the top version of it. Um, Cause you've got, you've got that exact same tie detail at the front there. Um, but this has just got like a peplum top. So you would, you can style this in like multiple ways. But you can see there, the sleeves are capped and then you would sort of like, <laughs> I am not demonstrating this very well at all. There we go. <laughs> but you would like tie it round at the back. Um, it's, it's such a beautiful top. Like I can't express how beautiful Tove is. Like just everything, just absolutely stunning. Um, but this would work really well with jeans, you know, just as a sort of like high low kind of outfit. But also this, now that I'm thinking about it, where are they? These, okay, yeah, I'm into this. This could be a very nice look, potentially with the totem sandals. This could actually be a really nice, um, like, evening holiday look, or just actually just a really nice look if you want to feel fancy, you know, maybe going to dinner. Sorry, I have to get really far back to kind of show you things. Can you name some of the brands on Farfetch, please? Whew. I'd be here for a very long time if I did that. Um, some of my favorite brands on Farfetch, probably Tove, Totem, Margiela, um, La Mer. They have a very, very good selection of La Mer on Farfetch. Um, Asino, I'm trying to think. When you put someone on the spot all of a sudden and ask them all the brands they like, or name brands on a, on a website, it's like, my mind just goes completely blank. But I would say most of the brands that I wear are stocked on Farfetch, hence why I love Farfetch so much, because I don't have to shop anywhere else to find the brands I like. I love a tabby, it elevates the look immediately. Yep, 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 yep. I work in bespoke tailoring and it's always fun to see reactions to my tabbies. Yeah, it is always fun. Sometimes I'm out in public and you can tell when when they've caught someone's eye. It, I always find it happens on public transport quite a lot because you know you're just sat there and you end up just looking at people's feet, don't you? Um, I can always tell when someone is just completely perplexed by a tabby um, just staring at your feet. Yes. How could I forget the row, Tarek? How could I forget the row? How 
How would you approach trying different proportions? I'm trying to get into wearing more crop styles. You and me both, you and me both. As someone who wears lots of long layers, I'm trying to bring in more crop styles, which is kind of where stuff like this comes in quite handy. I mean, it's not necessarily a crop style, but I think it's so much of my wardrobe is made up of like big layers and like, I mean, that's when I feel most comfortable, but I do sometimes think, oh, it would be nice to wear something cropped. It would be nice to wear something that's got a little bit more of a cinch in the waist or, you know, like a bit more of a shape to it. Um, so I think like the introduction of maybe like a peplum shape is quite fun because although it's not cropped, it's it creates a really interesting shape that can then work quite well with say like a boxier silhouette on the bottom. Like I'd also love to wear this with, um, imagine this with like a really wide pair of like tailored trousers or like a sort of curved, almost like a barrel leg trouser actually could be really cool just to play with proportions. Um, but I think, because I, because I'm I'm only five foot three, so I'm always trying to like play around with proportions, but also like keep things uh, relative to my height, which can be a, quite a bit of a challenge. So I do find that almost like keeping one thing smaller than the other, if that makes sense, is is a good formula. So you'll either have small on top, big big on bottom, or like larger silhouette on top and smaller on the bottom that's I mean that's not a golden rule that I live by don't get me wrong I sometimes wear big layers on top and bottom but in terms of trying to like play around with shapes that seems to be like a good formula that works for me what are your thoughts on brown bags with black shoes I'm trying to move past the weird mind block I've got because I really want to invest in a brown bag interesting interesting um Funny enough, I have two brown bags here. Um, I think, like you said, it is um, it, it's a mind block, okay? And and that's the key there because I think any like brown and black effectively should be they're fine next to each other. But I get what you mean. Like sometimes you just get in your head where you're just like, no, those two. I like I used to be like that about navy and black, and now I'm like navy and black actually are just chef's kiss together um but maybe it's about finding the right brown maybe it needs to be like something quite rich so that it goes with the black because if you think about black it's quite um obviously it's dark so maybe you need something um equally as rich to go with it so these trousers are from the mare just like a really good cotton pair they actually have a brown button surprisingly very well picked. Um, so maybe it's like just about having a more richer toned bag so that the two of them together, almost like one or the other doesn't get lost, if you know what I mean. Whereas if you compare maybe like a lighter brown, that might feel a bit lost. Sorry, I don't know if I've really helped you there, but I just think maybe it is just about just playing around with the different browns. How nice is this Margiela bag, by the way? It's such a cool shape. I like this a lot. You know when you see a bag online and then you kind of like see it in real life and you're like, oh, this is a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I can't believe 40 minutes has passed already. <laughs> Margaret Howe helped me embrace brown and black. Yes, that's a great tip. Very good. Oh, sorry, you did specifically say brown bag with black shoes. I think it's the same sort of applies. It's about just the the correct brown. I'm just gonna just bear with me and scroll up. Favorite colors for summer? I might have already answered that, but blue, blue and green. I'm really loving blue and green at the moment. Um, okay. Do I have any other remaining things that I would really like to talk about? I feel like we are 
naturally drawing to a close. Bear with me, I'm just going to have a drink. Um, so yeah, like I said, that code will be valid until the 27th of June for new and existing customers. Um, sorry, it's thirsty, thirsty work talking for 40 minutes straight. Um, Oh, for everything. Yeah. Sorry, I do have someone here who's assisting me in case I forget anything. That's a very good point. So there is a there will be a link in the description of this video that will send you to all of the pieces that I've spoken about. And you can re-watch this as well afterwards, can't you? Yeah, so this will be available to re-watch, which I think is a bit more applicable for people who maybe missed it or you joined late or you had to dash off perhaps. Um, you will be able to re-watch and um, have a proper browse of everything in this edit via that link. Um, I hope that was fun. I was very nervous and I had a I've put a white t-shirt on so you can't see how sweaty and nervous I was. Um, but it's the first time I've done it so naturally I was going to be a bit nervous. It was fun. Thanks Isabel. Thank you. Um, apologies if I wasn't able to answer your question. You smashed it. Oh, there we go. They're the words of affirmation that I need. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hopefully I'll do another one at some point. Um, and thank you so much to everyone who's who's joined. I genuinely just thought it was going to be me chatting to my camera, but there is over 300 of you. Whoa, I didn't even see that number. I've only just seen it. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm glad I didn't notice that beforehand. Otherwise, I probably would have had an absolute meltdown. Um, I love you too. Love it. Love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, found this by accident. Oh, that's amazing. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm, yeah, all done. Okay, great. Um, thank you so much, everyone. That was the, yeah, you made me feel so much better and um, I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. It, it's going to be saved. Don't worry. It's going to be saved. Au revoir. Yes. I kind of just, goodbye, goodbye. Right, I'm going to end it now. Bye. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't pressed end.